First, I want to make sure everybody is able to open the terminal and access the cheat outputs. So go ahead and start a terminal on your machine. We have instructions here on the screen for both Windows and Mac users. Windows, start menu, Anaconda prompt. Make sure you use the Anaconda prompt, not the Anaconda PowerShell. Just make sure you get the regular Anaconda prompt. Start it, run Conda activate GDAL. This is going to activate the environment where we install the GDAL tool so you can access that. And after that, you should type GDAL info dash dash version. So there's two dashes here. And if you get an output and saying, okay, version 3.3 or 3.6, whatever, that means you are set. Same thing for Mac and Linux. You open a terminal, Mac users, it is in your applications. Linux users, depends on the flavor of Linux, go and find how to open a terminal, activate your GDAL environment, do GDAL info dash dash version. And once you have done this, we're going to move on to the next step. I'm going to show this on my system. So I'm going to start a terminal. So when you start a terminal, if you have Anaconda installed, it'll say you are in the base environment. So first step we want to do is Conda activate GDAL. We had asked you to install the GDAL package into this environment named GDAL. If you're installing a different named environment, activate that environment, but most of you should have a GDAL environment. Once you do this, you'll see the prompt will change to indicate that you are now in the GDAL environment. And you should now be able to run GDAL info dash dash version, which will print the currently used version of GDAL in your machine. All of you had downloaded the zip file. You had to unzip it. So make sure your files are unzipped and you need to find that thing in your command prompt. So you need to navigate to the directory using your command prompt. So you should use the CD command. CD stands for change directory. So when you launch the command prompt, you are in your home folder. So on Windows, you'll be in C users, what your username. On Mac also, you are on the user folder. If your data is in downloads, you just type CD space downloads, capital D, and you can press tab to autocomplete backslash GDAL tools. That's where your folder is. Press that. And once you are in the GDAL tools folder, type DIR to list all the files inside. And if you see all the folders like Landsat and SRTM, you are in the correct place. Sometimes when you unzip on Windows, Windows will create one more subfolder named GDAL tools. So then you have to go to CD, downloads, GDAL tools, GDAL tools, and then you'll be in the correct place. So make sure you navigate to that. You type DIR, you should see the folders that are there in your course home folder along with some files. Same Hello. thing for Mac and Linux users. Please go to your GDAL tools folder, use LS to list files and you'll be able to see those files. So I'm here in my computer. I have the download folder and I have unzipped this folder into this GDAL tools folder. I want to get to this folder. This folder has all of these files and I should be able to see those files in my terminal. So from here, I type the CD command space. The command prompts, everything is case sensitive. So I need to type the correct case of downloads. I can type a few letters and I can press tab. This works both on Linux, Mac, or in Windows, you can auto complete and say, great, I am in the downloads now. I can come here on Windows. I can do DIR to see what's in my downloads folder on Mac and Linux. I can say LS and you can say, I have two files here. One is a folder called GDAL tools. One is a zip file. I can further go inside this folder using this GDAL tools name. And once I do this and I can do LS or DIR, I should see this files. So if you see all those files, you are in the correct place. Believe it or not, this was the hard part. Now it's going to be easy. It's first experience with the terminal and locating data. That's a hard part. Everybody said, so we're going to start the course now.